Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today I am going to talk about a case study which is to reduce the procurement cycle time. In a multinational electronics major company, there used to be a procurement delay. This used to impact the production line and overall impact the revenue of the business. Team measured the data for last three months and they noticed that the procurement cycle time is around 14 days. This was high for the business. So management decided to create a Six Sigma team led by a black belt to reduce this time. Team created a project charter. They had the goal statement to reduce the procurement cycle time from 14 days to 7 days by December 2022. In scope of the project was direct procurement and indirect procurement was out of scope. Milestones of the project define phase started on 1st of June and they wanted to finish this project by 15th of December. In team charter, the sponsor was MD procurement, chairman was vice president procurement, mentor is the master black belt for this project and the process owner is the procurement manager and there were team members as well. The next thing that the team did was to define the high level process map. Procurement cycle includes requisition is being raised by the requester. Then the vendor is identified. The order is placed. The product is received and the payment is made. So this is the very high level procurement cycle. Then the team defined the army chart and communication plan. The next thing the team did was to identify the potential causes to the high cycle time. And some of the potential causes were vendors, whether they were listed vendors for the organization or unlisted vendors. What is the location of the vendor? The technology which was used to place these orders is old technology. People were unskilled. There were shortage of resources. The long waiting time between the processes was one of the reasons for high cycle time. It is a manual process. There were old legacy procedures which were there. The manual and lengthy procedures were followed to place the order and receive the products. Then the next thing the team did was to create a data collection plan. The data was collected on procurement time. It was a continuous data which is the project Y. The next axis on which the data was created was item category, local versus other state where the product was coming from, listed versus unlisted vendors. After the data collection, team used hypothesis testing to identify which of these potential axes are contributing to procurement cycle time. In column C1, we have procurement cycle time. In column C2, we have item category whether the product which was purchased is less than 5k or greater than 5k, whether it is a locally procured product or we have to go to the other states to procure it is in column C3 and in column C4 listed versus unlisted vendor data is there. So the first step is to check whether the project Y is normally distributed or non normally distributed for that. Stat, basic statistics and graphical summary. Under variables, enter procurement time and click OK. P value of 0 0.030 indicates that it is a non normal data. The next thing that the team had to do was to see whether the data has any special causes. For that, the chart that is being used is called run chart. Stat, quality tools and run chart. Single column, enter procurement time. In subgroup size, enter 1. And click OK. P value of clusters, mixtures, trends and oscillations are greater than 0 0.05, which indicate that the data is stable. It means there are no special causes in the data and hence further analysis can be performed. Now procurement time is a non-normal data and the X which is item category is a discrete X. 
So in this case, Moore's median test will be used. And the path for that is that non-parametric test and Moore's median test. Under response, we will enter procurement time. And under factor, I will enter item category. And we will click OK. P-value of this test is greater than 0 0.05, which indicates that this is not a significant X. It means item category is not impacting procurement time. Moving on to the next test, which, is, which will again be Moot Median test, procurement time will be tested against local. I will press Control E. Control E is the functionality in the mini tab which will take you to the previously used screen. So under response, I will have procurement time and under factor, I will check column C3 which is local. Click OK. P value of this test is less than 0 0.05 which indicates that it is a contributing X which means when we procure the products locally, they are having lesser cycle time. If we look at this data, the yes column which says that if the product is procured locally, it will take 10 days. But if it has to be procured from other cities, it will take approximately 20.3 days. So which indicated that local is a contributing X. Next X that we are going to test is listed versus unlisted vendor. Under response, we will have procurement time again and under factor, we will have listed versus unlisted. And click OK. P value of this test is again zero. It indicates that listed versus unlisted vendor is a contributing factor to procurement time. So if we see this listed vendors, whenever we ordered product from listed vendors, it used to take 10.6 days. And whenever we ordered products from unlisted vendors, it used to take 19.3 days. So the team decided to create an improvement plan based on all these identified X's. So these are the three solutions that the team has proposed. The first one is to create visibility of listed vendors in the system. The person who is placing the order was not able to see whether the product is available with listed vendor or unlisted vendor. They used to spend too much time in identifying that. And sometimes they used to order a product which is available with the listed vendor as well to an unlisted vendor. So now there is a column which has been placed in the system where they had to explain why they are ordering this product from unlisted vendor. The second one was the contact with vendors to provide most frequent parts used within two days of placing the order. So this is done to avoid if the part is to be procured from outside the city. That is to avoid the delay. They have asked their vendors to have that stock with them. And the third one was to create a mobile application this application will help the requester. This application will help the approver to approve it immediately. The time which was lost between these transactions is saved now. And hence the procurement cycle is fast. So by implementing these solutions, team was able to reduce this time from 14 days to seven days. And hence they started reaping the benefit. So they started getting the revenue faster in the system. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.